This is three rounds in the catch weight division. First, introducing our fighter, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 189 pounds. He's out of West Concord, Minnesota. Let's hear it for Austin Evia. And introducing our fighter, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet, four inches tall, weighing in at 191.4 pounds. He hails out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Give it up for George Peterson. Merrick Marlin, your referee. I got to think Minneapolis is closer than West Concord, right guys? Absolutely. Austin Amiot in the blue, George Peterson in the red. Both of these boys ready for their amateur debut. Austin shucking and driving his shoulders even before he walks out. Jab from, jab from both guys so far. Not putting a lot on it, though. Feints and jabs are always a good idea here in the first round. Good body kick there from George. Great body kick. Both big boys here. Both weighing in at 190. Establishing a jab here early on, George Peterson is. Making sure these leg kicks are a presence. Both of them looking extremely focused here. Eyes wide open here within the exchanges. Staring oh, at each other. Didn't expect that. George Great just trip. Nice George take down there. by George. Great control. Starting with the ground to pound right away. Austin trying to get a leg up. Really, really, really trying to pressure over the guard of Austin. Trying to get over him, posturing up. It's called stacking, Joe. Yeah. You're, you're always going to want to stack him. It's really hard to put pressure on the hips when, you, when a guy's above you like that. George is holding him here, constant pressure. Old school grappling move, forearm on the neck. Also active off his back, Austin is trying to defend everything George is, is sending his way. Mm -hmm. Seems like he's ready for a submission in all honesty. Tough to tell here right off the bat, of course, but looking like he was pulling those legs up. He was trying to get to a spot to at least threaten those. Pitter-patter off the back here from Austin. Uh, unfortunately, I'm seeing his legs cross, and it's fine, but y y if, if you're going to want to attack off your back, those things can't be like that. Got to be on the hips, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Might be comfortable here. I heard the strikes off top from George here. One, two to the body, one to the head. Constant rhythm has thrown that twice now. Third time landing for George Peterson here off the top. Really consistent with that, absolutely, Joe. Must have trained that. That's 10,000 hours right there on that move. Oh, Beautiful brilliant right elbow. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's funny that he finally throws the elbow. I was wondering if we can throw elbows in amateurs. You w I was wondering as well. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen one all night. Great, great control here from George. In all honesty, you see Austin trying to get those feet even on those hips at some point, cannot get them through. And George has got a big support system here tonight. Just pure control here from George, staying stacking up. Mm -hmm. Just busy enough for the ref not to do anything either. I mean, in all honesty, he's, mm -hmm. looking, he's looking really good. I will give the credit to Austin though, Try managing to get out of the way of most of these strikes from the top. That is a good point. Staying active off the back. You're hearing a lot of noise, but it's more patter off the shot, side of the head, nothing Very, too bad. Absolutely. Seems like, yeah, Austin's staying very, very calm here. For amateurs, all of these guys have looked very comfortable. Absolutely. I 100% agree with you. Mm -hmm. It's like they've been in here before. Any changes, yes. I would like to see, to be honest with you, I would like to see a little bit more. I mean, it's one thing to stay in guard and beat somebody up, but you need to raid down shots. And these pitter-patters, like, yes, you're winning the round, but are you going to finish? You're not. I get you. It's tough, though, because at the same time, finishing, you know, like we said earlier, trying to knock someone out, make you lose a decision. So. George, mm -hmm. big, I jo am George, big presence here in the first round, absolutely dominating off the top. Awesome, good defense. Let's see what they can do in round two here. Well, I did talk about stools, and I see them both, so crisis averted. But both gentlemen choosing not to use them. Tough to tell who's more ready. Austin looking great. Looking like he's still calm, still ready. George getting some very calm advice. Both men that are working for the commissions are wearing matching shirts. I don't know if it was planned. <laughs> MCFC's own Jay Paulson in the corner of Austin Amia. 
sitting there showing him a lot of lot of little little things here it looks like a lot of little things for him to work on here going into round two we'll see what ends up happening George. Water in the corner. Yeah, George, um, uh, moisturizing the feet. Always nice to do that. Oh, Less geez. likely to slip if you do. Ooh, Austin's coming big out. Big jab from really George. Impressive. Austin really trying to, really, really trying to put um, a little bit of pressure on him here. That jab from George is doing wonders right now. I'm liking what Austin's doing, trying to pick a side and angles, but you got to do something with it instead of just, oh, that jab. jab. Big jab. Big jab is a wall. Good right hand there from George on the way. Yang goes for the takedown. Got him pressured up against the cage, standing up. Almost into full mount here. Looking for him to rain down some punches here. Absolutely. Hitting him with that left hand. Raining shots heavy from George on top. Big, Again. big dominance. Just consistently seeing this position out of George, just dominating from the top. Very smart. Austin was starting to try to come at him here too with his last, uh, with, the, with the beginning part of last round. Mm -hmm. See that right leg, guys? The only way he's going to get out, he has the right side on, he has the right underhook, but he's got to pick to the side. He's got to go against to the side that the underhook has, and that's how he's going to get out, and that's why he keeps getting stuck. It's a very good observation. Yeah, George being smart enough to know, you know, even when he does get caught with a little bit, that he has control down here. Raining down some very big round and pound here. Has him trapped in the cage. Come out here for George. Raining shots down. Oh, massive from George Peterson. This might be it. That's it. George Peterson, Minnesota's own. Look at him, look at him. He is ready to roll. Fired Absolutely up. Absolutely stoked. Your winner. One minute, 41 seconds into the second round by referee stoppage due to strikes. Fighting out of the red corner, give it up for George Peterson. George, how you feeling tonight, buddy? I'm feeling good, man, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Just catching up with you yesterday. You seemed confident. You seemed light on your shoulders. Everything seemed good. How you feeling in here? This ain't nothing new. I, it was a business trip. I came here. I did what I had to do. That's it. Absolutely. Catching him with those strikes. I mean, you got him pressed up against the cage a couple times here. He seemed to survive going into here, though. I mean, that did seem pretty dominant. I trained under Greg Nelson. There's no other gym with better grappling. This was the plan. I knew it before I came in. Let's go. Anything you want to say to your fans, friends, family, anything at all while we're here? I love you, Mom. And I fight to raise awareness for domestic abuse towards men. George Peterson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>